Pope Francis has used an end-of-year speech to talk about Nigerian Christians killed at Christmas. Have a listen and see if you can work out how these Christians died. Cari fratelli e sorelle, purtroppo la celebrazione del Natale in Nigeria è stata segnata da gravi violenze nello stato di Plateau con molte vittime. Prego per loro e le loro famiglie che Dio liberi la Nigeria da questi orrori. Violence with many victims. Okay, was there a fight over a car park? Did a Christmas party get out of hand? What the Pope meant to say was that 140 Nigerian Christians were murdered by Islamic jihadis. He might have added that, according to Nigerian human rights watchdog Intersiety, 52,000 Christians have been butchered or hacked to death for being Christians in Nigeria since 2009. So if people want to talk about a genocide, will why do leaders seem so reluctant to call out Islamic extremists? Cowardice, James. Cowardice. And it's cowardice in two forms. It's uh, cowardice uh, in response to the threat of physical harm. Uh, we saw tragically last year that Salman Rushdie finally met with that that harm after spending a, his life, uh, the last 20 years of his life, under that threat. But it's also cowardice uh, for being afraid to be called a racist. Now, we need to separate in Australia and abroad legitimate discussions about culture and religion with racism. It is not racist to call out many of the problems uh, that surround the Islamic religion and Islamic culture. Uh, we need to be brave to have those open conversations. Unfortunately, too many people will say that you are a racist if you have that conversation. That's wrong. And leaders need to have more courage to stand up against that mentality. Yeah, when even the Pope won't stand up for Christians, that's a problem. Let me finish with this and get a quick thought from both of you. The initial copyright on Disney's iconic Mickey Mouse has expired. The 1928 depiction of the character in Steamboat Willie has entered the public domain 95 years after it was released. So what do you reckon movie makers have done? They've rushed to the cinemas to release a Mickey Mouse horror movie. Have a look. Where the hell did he go? Damien, would you see a Mickey Mouse slasher movie or do you think it looks a bit goofy? <laughs> Definitely looks goofy, uh, as a lot of these sort of slasher horror movies do. But look, it's, uh, it's a credit to the marketing team at that movie studio that they knew the, the, the deadline was passing and they were able to, to get this movie out right on the day. So good on them. Will, just a quick thought from you. Would you see that movie or would you prefer Barbie? I prefer neither. I, uh, <laughs> I, I will be interested to see whether they have followed what South Park said is new, Disney's new strategy for casting, which is put a chick in it, make her lame and make her gay. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I'm not sure how that fits in with the slasher context, but, uh, but we will see. You know they'll find a way. Will Kingston, Damien Tomlinson, thanks so much for your time.